They walk like us, talk like us, and some of them even think like us. What you are about to watch is not from a science fiction film. It's real, it's current, and it's transforming our future. These are the most sophisticated robots on Earth, from artificially intelligent humanoids that can engage in full-length conversations, to robot animals that can endure war zones, scale mountains, and save lives. But here's the surprising part. Some of these devices are beginning to outwit their makers. So then, is America building its best friends or its most intelligent rivals? Stay tuned, because what you are going to witness will blow your mind. UB Tech, the Chinese robotics company. UB Tech is preparing for the mass production of its Walker S series of humanoid robots. The process should be completed by the end of 2025. Between 500 and 1,000 humanoid robots of the Walker S, Walker S1, and the upcoming Walker S2 model are to be delivered to industry, including automotive companies, the logistics company SF Express, and Apple supplier Foxconn. UB Tech is said to have received around 500 orders for its humanoid robots Walker S1 in 2024 from automotive companies alone. UB Tech only launched the current iteration of the robot on the market in October 2024. UB Tech had previously succeeded in integrating the robot into the production processes of automotive companies such as BYD and NEO. There, the robot is already working alongside human employees in assembly and quality control. The Walker S, one humanoid robot, has 41 degrees of freedom, as well as various visual and acoustic sensors that enable it to have 360-degree multimodal perception. It is equipped with artificial intelligence, AI, for general task planning. Unitree Iron Fist King You've seen Unitree's G1 before, but have you seen the 4.3-foot-tall robot kitted out with gloves and a helmet sparring against a human and another G1? You'll see it doing just that in the company's latest video, throwing punches, attempting dodges, and even getting back up after being knocked down. It's getting ready for a big event called Unitree Iron Fist King Awakening happening next month. You can tell G1's moves are a bit clunky, its reactions are slow, and it wobbles a bit so it's not quite a boxing champ like Mike Tyson yet. Still, the robot uses LAFAN one motion capture tech to copy human moves, but its boxing could use some extra practice. The G1 has 23 to 43 joint motors, depending on which version, letting it move in lots of ways. Each arm can bend in five spots, each leg in six, and the waist adds one more, giving it human-like wiggle room for punches and steps. It blends force and position data to make its moves sharp and quick. Themis V2 Westwood Robotics' brand new Themis V2 is a life-sized robot that's about 5 feet 3 inches tall, and it's got 40 different ways it can move. That means it can bend and twist a lot, almost like a person. The biggest improvements in this version are its arms, capable of moving in six different ways, while its hands can move in seven ways. This robot isn't just about looking cool with fancy moving parts. It's loaded with special motors called Bear Actuators, which are a big deal at Westwood, the company that made it. These motors let the robot move smoothly, almost like a person, while staying safe. Super important if it's around people or fragile stuff. Titanoboa The original Titanoboa was a species of snake that lived 60 million years ago reaching a length of 50 feet, 15 meters, and an estimated weight of one ton, 907 kilograms. When artist Charlie Brinson first heard about the creature's discovery in 2009, he decided that he wanted to build a life-size electromechanical replica of the monster. A co-founder of Vancouver's Eat Art Collective, he put a team of members together and work began this summer. Optimus, Gen 2. Optimus, which it says is designed for taking over household chores, has recently hit a production snag, which Elon Musk calls a magnet issue. In early April, China blocked the export of seven rare earth metals in response to President Trump's application of 54% tariffs on Chinese goods. Aside from being used in global chip-making supply chains, 
These materials are also applied in several high-tech industries, including lasers, radar, jet engines, and more. However, even if this robot is designed as a substitute for a household employee, its inherent humanoid design makes it useful for other tasks, including those that China might deem military applications. Aside from that, Musk's other companies, like SpaceX, have active contracts with the U.S. military. Musk is closely allied with the U.S. president and works with him directly through Doge, or the Department of Government Efficiency. HD Atlas Boston Dynamics has a new humanoid robot that the company says represents a path to commercialization. It's the company's next-generation, all-electric Atlas robot. While new Atlas and old Atlas share a name, they couldn't be more different when it comes to construction. The old Atlas, a research platform and viral sensation that could handle nearly any terrain, do backflips, and pick up heavy objects, was powered by a heavy, complicated hydraulic system. The new Atlas is all electric and looks like it's a fraction of the size and weight of the hydraulic version. It also looks like a product, with covers around all the major components and consumer-friendly design touches, like a giant status light in the head and a light-up power button that looks like it was ripped right from the spot assembly line. Ameka Ameka is a cloud-connected platform that multiplies the power of artificial intelligence with an artificial body where AI and machine learning systems can be tested and developed on, alongside Engineered Art's powerful Tritium robot operating system. This allows companies working on robotic research to test their products. Companies creating AI or machine learning technology can use Ameka to test and present their technology in front of a live audience. The Ameka hardware is a development based on Engineered Art's own research into humanoid robotics and built on their advanced Mesmer technology. The robot's congeniality makes it a perfect platform for fostering human-to-human -human connections in any metaverse or digital environment. Kepler Robotics K. One Chinese robotics company, Kepler, has unveiled its full-sized humanoid robot, Forerunner K2. The Shanghai-based firm's Forerunner K1 was launched in November 2023, and it featured a 55-pound and 8-hour battery and agile manipulators. The new Forerunner model builds on it and boasts significant upgrades in both software and hardware. The firm claims that Forerunner K2's intelligence software has significantly improved in areas like dynamic perception, task planning, full-body coordination, autonomous learning, and motion control. The Forerunner K2 represents the Gen 5.0 robot model, showcasing a seamless integration of the humanoid robot's cerebral, cerebellar, and high-load body functions, said the firm in a statement. During the Forerunner K2's development, Kepler collaborated with nearly 50 target customers, gathering insights into specific industry needs. Research across intelligent manufacturing, warehousing, high-risk operations, and education informed the robot's refinement for commercial use. Sanctuary AI Sanctuary AI's general-purpose robot Phoenix TM recently recognized as one of Time Magazine's Best Inventions of 2023, can perform a multitude of work tasks. For instance, at a Marks retail store in Langley, BC, Canada, Phoenix has performed more than 100 tasks, including choosing and packing merchandise, and correctly cleaning, tagging, labeling, and folding items, with robotic hands that rival human hand dexterity and fine manipulation. Phoenix is powered by the company's AI control system, Carbon TM, which mimics subsystems found in the human brain, such as memory, sight, sound, and touch, and translates natural language into action in the real world. Jordy Rose, chief executive officer and co-founder of Sanctuary AI, said, Robots with human-like intelligence will completely transform the workforce of the future. By combining Accenture's expertise in disruptive technology with Sanctuary AI's industry-leading robotics, we can help some of the biggest companies in the world manage this change and provide the best solutions for its clients. Zhuying X-20 Thermonator is great for setting things on fire, while Deep Robotics' Zhuying X-20 robot dog can be used for more practical applications, such as opening doors, stocking shelves, etc. 
When used in disaster scenarios, the robot can be equipped with several application modules, including a long-distance communication system, a bi-spectrum PTZ camera, gas sensing equipment, and an omnidirectional camera. This robot is based on the company's Light 3 series, which features the latest proprietary limb joints, control systems, and advanced algorithms. Its open modular structure and interface make it adaptable as well as scalable, allowing for the development of advanced perceptual abilities, including autonomous navigation and automatic obstacle avoidance.